Well, g'day and welcome back to Muni Magic. Sam here uh, with the announcement of our winner for our giveaway. Uh, now, as you may have noticed, this is a very quick turnaround. I had the announcement of the giveaway uh, a few days ago, then the video yesterday, and now this is the winner. You may notice that uh, that's a pretty quick turnaround. That's because I want to make sure that I'm rewarding my active members. So if you are active on the channel, you're commenting, you're checking the videos, you've got that notification bell going, uh, then you're going to be more likely to win uh, in the prizes and giveaways that I do in the future. So keep that in mind. Now, with that being said, of the people who have entered, I have got uh, B Dog 2004. Now, you were the first person to comment on my video yesterday, which means you get three entries into this giveaway. Next up we had uh, Tim Bister was one of the next two and Josh Piuti was the other one. So you guys get two entries each. And then we had DocMTG, Agent MLP, uh, Jeremy Warden, Gage Norris, uh, Jack of All Trades, Crest Hart and Jay Shing. Okay, so those are the ones that were entered in the competition. Now I did notice a couple of people commented on the last video to, but didn't say which pick, uh, which pack they wanted to pick. Uh, they are active members, they are good people, so if that was you, I'm gonna give you the top pack, okay? So if you didn't comment, you may have missed what I'd said, so you'll get the top pack if you're the one that's selected, but remember that uh, you get a few extra picks if you were, a few extra entries if you're one of the first people to comment. So I'm just gonna shuffle these up really quickly, and then I'm gonna roll a dice to see who is gonna be the winner, and which pack they're gonna be opening. And then I'm excited to open up some Battle Bond. I haven't opened much Battle Bond, so we'll see what we can get. Okay, so that's been shuffled. Maybe I'll give it one cut. All right, that is the cut that is happening. It is going there. I have a 20-sided dice. There are 14 entries into this giveaway, so if it's one to 14, it's happening. It's 19, we're gonna go again. Nine. Okay, so from this side, we're gonna go nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the winner. The winner for this giveaway is Crest Heart. Okay, Crest Heart, you selected the bottom pack. Okay, so we're going to have a look at this. We've got the bottom pack uh, right here. Let's get straight into it and we'll, uh, we'll see what you've won. So the stash pack, we're going to see if there's a good stash of cards in here. Someone made that comment, that made me laugh. Alright, so we're going to get straight into this, see if there's anything good, and then we'll open up those other packs as well. Uh, really quickly. So thank you all for being active in the channel. Thank you all for, um, you know, commenting on all the videos, telling me what your thoughts would be on the draft. I'll tell you what mine would be after this. Uh, so we're going to get straight into this. The Emblem of Will, that's actually pretty good. We've got the Forest and your red... Core Spirit Dancer. Okay, so you got a Core Spirit Dancer. That's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. Spectral uh, Searchlight, Pulse of Marasa, Switcheroo, Midlight Guard, Fan Favorite, Shock, Royal Trooper, Bull Rush Bruiser, Sears Lantern, Negate, Charging Rhino, Pierce Strider, and Dragon Hatchling. Okay, so congratulations to Crest Heart. This is going to you. This pack is going to you. Please uh, send me an email. Uh, mutimagic at gmail.com and I will get back to you about uh, all that. Now let's get into these other packs just to see what we could have won. This is the middle pack that I'm about to open. We're going to try this thing. Uh, I know people aren't really a fan of it. I'm not necessarily a fan of it myself. The little side tab you can pull. Alright. We got ourselves a Mind Blade Render. Beast Within, Solemn Offering, and then anything interesting in the common slot? Not particularly. Okay. And, and sorry about that. My phone ran out of uh, memory, so we're back. We just started opening this pack. It's not a different pack. It's the same one, I promise. Just going to have a look at what this third pack was and then quickly talk about the draft pack that I had before. So we've got ourselves a beast. Mountain and... We've got a foil, a lay weaver, and then a... Oh, it's a partner card, so you get both the foils. That's pretty sweet. I like that. And a mind's eye. Not too bad. It's a few dollars. Okay, that's cool. Got us some partner cards in foil. Mind's eye. And then uh, anything else that's interesting? Not too sure what I'm actually looking for. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, congratulations to Crest Heart on winning the competition. Now, really briefly, I'll show you the pack 
that we had and what I would have picked for the draft with uh, everyone picking a whole lot of different things. So this was the pack. This would be my picks. Um, personally, I would pick Shiv and Fire first, then Academy Drake. It's a really good flyer. Um, obviously, with the kicker ability, makes it that much better. But a turn 3 2 2 flyer is always good in sealed. And then a Call of Cavalry, two bodies for four, is also very good. Um, then I had a lot of people who were picking Pierce the Sky, Evra, Wizard's Retort, Power Stone Shard. Those were pretty popular. Um, and then these ones weren't as popular in the rest of the packs. I know Doc likes Stronghold Confessor. I actually really like Stronghold Confessor as well. I love anything with kicker and board the Weatherlight. Um, so yeah, these would be my picks to be Shiv and Fire, Academy Drake, and Call the Cavalry. Now one thing is to think about, like if you take the Shiv and Fire, there's not a whole lot of red in this pack. Uh, you're telling everyone that's next to you that don't pick red. The only thing that's in here is a Keldon Warcaller. Uh, so hopefully that shuts them down, makes them not really pick it. So in pack two, you're more likely to get more red cards. But it's not really something to consider as much when you're doing a draft. Mostly you pick the strongest cards and removal is always key. So I'd start with Shiv and Fire for sure. Um, but yeah, that's my picks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, just keep in uh, constant uh, watching of the channel because there's going to be more giveaways happening. But I will have a little bit of a break in just a moment uh, because I will have a lot of work that I'm doing over the next two weeks. But I'll try and get a couple of videos to you guys through those couple of weeks as well. So hopefully we'll see you at another video.